Snake, yo, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Finno Snake, man. We about to do a live feeding today. We feeding all six snakes, so stay tuned. We also got that merch. Holla at your boy, man. We got the hats. We got the shirts on deck, too. Shout out to Noel. She the one putting these wonderful, wonderful outfits together. Pull up on us. Live feeding today, man. Six snakes. Be there and be square. Holla at your boy, man. Finno Snake. I'm on my way heading to Finn and Feathers to get these rats for these beautiful snakes I got at the crib. About to have all six snakes eat. Um, when we pull up, I'm gonna basically just show y'all, you know what I'm saying, what you would look for in purchasing your rats, live rats. Um, I do feed my snakes live, so, you know, I don't knock people who feed frozen. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you what you would look for in a snake to make sure, I mean, sorry, what you would look for in the rats. Make sure that they're good, make sure they don't have no mites on them. You know, they're not chewed into or anything like that. So we be back, B. Y'all gonna see it, man. Live feeding, fear no snake, man. Holla at your boy. So, yo, we here. We out here, man, at Finn and Feathers right now. As you can see, we about to, um, we about to start uh, looking at these rats. Go get these rats and um, get everything sorted out. I'm getting six rats at the moment for the snakes that I have at the house. So, of course, I got to look at them, make sure they're healthy, make sure they're good. I've been working with Finn and Feathers for some time now, so they make some, uh, they have some pretty good rats. So, what I am purchasing is three large rats two medium rats and one wingling. Wingling is something that's a little bit smaller than a regular size rat, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're about to go and check these joints out and get back with you. So we're gonna walk around Fin and Feathers a little bit, look at some of the animals they have. They got some really, really beautiful animals in here. They got a lot of birds. Um, I started rocking with Fin and Feathers about two years ago, I wanna say, give or take a little. Uh, I purchased one of my snakes actually from Fin and Feathers which is my albino, her name is Chi Chi. So I did get my albino here. Actually, I brought a couple of snakes from these guys. Um, they, they, I love the way they're taking care of their snakes. Uh, they definitely make sure that all their animals are well cared for and uh, things of that nature. So they got a few things in here too. Um, I haven't purchased in a while, but they got a lot of beardies and things of that nature. So uh, we out here though, man, Finna Feathers. Live feeding today, fear no snake. See you soon. Fear no snake. All right, so we're here back again, Mr. Fear no snake, man, at Fear Feathers. We about to check the rats that we have, which are three large rats, two medium rats, and a wingling. So typically what I like to do is I like to check the rats for anything that looks a little off or if they look bitten or, you know, sometimes you'll get a rat that looks a little bit sickly. So you always want to be on point and very careful with that. So let's check out the two, the two medium rats first and make sure they look good. Okay. See, they look pretty good. Excuse the box, it's pretty shitty, but we'll cut that out. So yeah, these rats look good right here. Let's check out our large rats and see how they're looking inside the box also. We can put this down here. Okay, so yeah, those are nice. See, they look healthy and that's, that's what's good. That's what you really want is you want rats that look healthy. You don't want anything that have any blemishes or anything of that nature on there. Keeps them looking good. That's what really matters. And then we'll check out the one wing we do have. See how she looks. Oh, she she's beautiful. Beautiful. So that's a good thing. That's one thing I can say. Finn and Feathers has definitely stepped their game up. They're definitely keeping their animals looking good. And I've been working with these guys for years. Shout out to Shane. He's one of the top dogs here at Finn and Feathers. Um, so let's get these rats home and let's get the feeding. We're out here. Fear no snake. I let your boy. Live feeding. Fear no snake. Heading back to the crib with these rats I just purchased from Finn and Feathers. You know, uh, one thing I can say, man, is it is, I understand the, um, the misunderstanding of feeding your snakes live rats. Uh, granted, sometimes, you know, the rats could actually 
uh, hurt the snakes. You know, they can scratch them, they can bite them, and things of that nature. You know, it's always good to where your snake is experienced with eating, and typically it doesn't really experience too much of that. It'll just grab them up, boom, it'll be done. But um, yeah, so definitely understand that when it comes to feeding your snakes live food, please be cautious of your snake. I, I typically, I sit there and I watch my snake eat. I don't just, you know, drop it in there and then let them eat and go about my business. So definitely be on point with that. Like I said, fear no snake, man. We about to do a live feeding. Yo, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Finno Snake, man. We here at the Finno Snake headquarters right now. I'm about to do a live feeding, so please caution yourself. This can be pretty gruesome. But we here right now. We got one of our rats we about to feed to Cleo. So let's take a walk over here and show you what that be like. Um, typically, I like to clean out their tanks before I feed. So I'll just show you right quick before I um, actually... So a lot of times people don't do feedings inside of the same tank that their snake lives in. And that's simply because you don't want to get bit. But, um, you know, I respect other professionals who say that. Me personally, I don't. I just actually take everything out of the tanks. And, yeah. So, let's grab a couple of her things out of here. So a lot of the times they all know when it's about time to eat, they start moving around. <clears throat> okay. So let's see how she looking in there. Oh, look at her. She look like she about to be ready in a minute. So that's Cleo. Uh, she's a candy head mixed with some other genetics. If you do know or have any ideas on what you think she is, please, please comment and let me know. <clears throat> but she is one of the uh, snakes that I did purchase from Fin and Feathers. Shout out to Fin and Feathers once again. So now we're about to drop this nice chunky rat in there. Let's see how we go. There we go. Sometimes it takes them a little minute, but she's pretty familiar with, with, uh, with eating. So... Sometimes it takes them a little minute, but she got them. Yeah, that's good. To me personally, I say that's a good feed. Oh, there we go. I like to prevent them from getting scratched sometimes, but uh, she looked like she got it. Yeah. We out here, man. Fennel snake, me. So that's one snake down. Yo, it's your boy, Mr. Fennel Snake, man. So just now did a live feed in the Cleo. As you can tell, um, this, the rat is dead. Um, so now you really want to make sure that they eat the rat head first and not uh, feet first because it can really mess them up. But um, she's an experienced eater, so 10 times out of 10, she's going to eat properly. So. We'll let her do her thing and um, we out of here. Real quick. There we go. Got him. Like I said, she's a really good eater. She don't waste too much time when it comes to that, to that food life. I think she got it pretty good too. Let's go. Real quick. Yeah, she don't really waste too much time. This right here is one of the reasons why I say always watch your snake when they eat and because she's almost about to eat this one backwards. So you always want to be on point with that too. You know what I'm saying? Kind of Make her lose distraction a little bit just so she can know that that's not, you know what I'm saying, the side you want to eat, you want to eat from. And she's typically very experienced too, so. All right, there we go. Yeah, she's a good eater. 
There we go. She'll figure it out from there. Like I said, always watch uh, what your snake's going to do while they're eating. Because if you don't, you can have a problem. Yo, yo, yo. So you can tell uh, Dossie is busting it down now. Getting the rest of that snake in there. I mean, that rat. Good job, Dossie. <laughs> your boy Mr. Finno Snake man I'm out here with the pups y'all just now viewed a live feeding you know what I'm saying um all six of my snakes they ate wonderfully so now right now they're in digest mode um but definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel man we got a lot of merch on there we got nice hats we also have for sale and pull up man every week we doing something where you can learn we get a little bit of education on how to work with ball python so man we out here be Finno Snake I'll let your boy